welcome to St. Thomas Raceway Park. It is a busy, busy Saturday here. It's no club today. That's right. This is a much bigger event than I had anticipated. The plan was to be here for the prep track surface time from 12 to 2 and then head into the Lyle Cook car show at for 3 o'clock. I just don't think two hours would be enough time to cover it all. So we're gonna do a bit of a walk around through the pits. There's some amazing rides here. You guys have to see some of these cars. So we're gonna do a bit of a walk, have a look what's here, and then we'll take in some racing. Look at that, Fast and the Furious at Sparta, who to thunk it? Generation Supra. We'll just have to have to make sure he sees the video. <laughs> Brian Swick right here. Awesome guy, great driver. Have a good one. up view inside this beast and look at that big old tank and off there yeah we're just gonna stick around and wait and see this guy make his pass geez I can only imagine how much power this actually has
It is packed. I think it's about time we get around through these pits and start having a look at some vehicles. Just all over through here, guys. If you didn't make it out here today, you're missing one heck of a show. <laughs> Seriously, 2020 Super Mark IV. Oh, sorry, Mark V, right? Mark yeah. V. Beautiful. How do you like it? Oh, it's awesome. I hear so many mixed things on uh, on the internet about them. Some people like them. Some people say they're too far from the Mark IV. No. I think it, I, on, in person, man, they're a sexy car. <laughs> I agree. I, I, I don't know. It's a couple weeks old. I don't even know what the car does yet. Oh, it's it's so new. This winter, it's going in the shop though. It's all stock right now, but we're gonna throw tune, flash the computer, all that. Everything's all new with this motor. It's not like the two J. Exactly. Right on. Are you gonna run it today? Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. All right. We'll have to try and make sure we get your pass. All right. We'll do. And of course. Wouldn't be a Saturday without porcelain pony present. You made it out. How's it going? How's it going? Not bad. Make any passes today already? I already made one, yeah. It's, yeah? It's kind of dicey. Yeah? I had to let off with like the fucking 1100 foot mark. Oh. Uh, she went sideways. Oh, that's not good. Sorry, I missed it. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't like crazy, but it was starting to go. Yeah. So I just, I let off. You I, know when to let up before it gets, I uh... I crashed car, so... Yeah. It's still fun. Got a nice Datsun sitting there. 240. Sounds like it would be LS swapped. And then we got this guy over here. Sounds like he's can. A little bit of everything kicking around today, guys. It's the first S13 we've seen out here today. And have a look at this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but is this not an RV swap? <laughs> That's nice. That is a nice looking 240 right there, guys. Yeah, it's not something you see every day. See all these nice cars on display, then bam, look at that. The Rally Art Evo from Too Fast, Too Furious. Might not be the actual one, but it's a damn good replica. Yeah, that's like spot on. And then of course, the Buster's car, Brian O'Connor's Eclipse from the original Fast and the Furious. It would be a 95 Eclipse. In the movie it had a 420A, basically a neon motor, when it should have had the 4G63 six bolt, but still beautiful car. I think I actually even see the NOS tank in the back.
wonder if he heard it. So far this is the only junior dragster that I've seen here today. So we're going to do him the honor of catching his pass. Alien two and a half. Keeping her pegged for the full quarter. It says on the top of that Mustang's windshield. That's not good. It says Crowd Slayer. Geez, 9.6 seconds in the right lane. Truck's still running, 15. Somebody dropped some oil on the track. Who does that? Let's go out and drop oil on the track. So we thought I'd come over to the staging lanes and show you guys just, they're actually pretty packed. Waiting to see more of the no clubbers run. Rather than just like test and tune type vehicles. Absolutely love the window banner. Thank you, sir. You, you must uh, be a fan of what they say about Mustangs on the internet. It, it's not the Mustangs, it's the drivers. <laughs> Though you'll have to catch the video, uh, Random Andrew on YouTube. Yeah, I see your shirt there. Uh, and uh, I got a few of your passes. Hey, did you see the uh, banner? <laughs> have a good one, man. <laughs> yeah, just showing everybody what's around, what's on the staging lanes. You guys know Trevor. Hi, Andrew. How you doing? Good. You feel sad your S14's not here, don't you? Yeah. 
But you know, October 6th. October 6th. We're going to be right, here. Man. We'll be here. So make sure you're here if you want to see that VR6 powered S14. New suspension, dude. New suspension. You're losing the air? Uh, the back air for now. Yeah. 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 I think you might be able to hook a little better, though. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Can't tell you any secrets about what he's doing. I, I've been letting on a little bit, but I can't tell you guys much because it's a shh, top secret. Okay, I seen something parked over here in the far lot. So once again, don't forget we're opening up Hang the on, stage Larry lanes now me. for the street tire cars. If you want to run over in lane two, three, four. Okay, so yeah, I had to leave the staging lanes the second I seen this and come over and get a shot of it for you guys. I've been wowing about the Mark V Supra, but I'd still rather have one of these. Don't worry, I keep you at the frame. <laughs> This will be the first Mark IV Super we've seen out here at the track. Well, this first one I've seen. There's the newer one up there. Yeah, Mark V sitting right over there. Yeah. I want to see more pictures of this car. This is his Instagram. And yes, it's right hand drive. Oh, beauty.
Oh, Tim West is coming up in the burnout box. No worries, Dwayne, I can just go over your head. <laughs> a different perspective for you guys this time. I'm on Dwayne's ladder. <laughs> I'm not a fan of heights. Not as easy of a filming platform. But that's a heck of a car right there. Way to go, Tim. Ten seventy two. Just so you guys know, it is now after 2 o'clock in the afternoon and they are back to the regular street style. Uh, you don't need slicks to run. That's what it was between 12 and 2. It was a prepped surface and you needed slicks on your car to run in that time. So now that's after that time, you're going to see a lot more regular cars out. Alright, on there's the FX4, F-150 and Far Lane. You guys will be shocked just how quick that truck is, if you haven't already seen in another video. Twelve forty. He's gone quicker, but that's still pretty quick right there. Guessing they wanted to do an arm drop with the uh, pretty girl at the lights instead of the lights. Make for a good picture though, I guess. Depends who's looking at the picture, really. <laughs> Under 14 second diesels, not bad. There you go, Ben. Check out that Mazda in the far lane. Same deal as yours, correct? Is it uh, just all stock? No. No? Far from it. 
Are you are you able to say what it's? Uh... Uh, yeah, it's got a thousand cc Yamaha street bike motor. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I've not seen that out here yet, so. Yeah. Yeah, you probably got a few minutes before you're up, but I'll uh, I'll try and do my best to get your pass. All right. I saw it and I was like, oh, what is this? That has got to be the cutest front air splitter I've ever seen. Yeah, it just kind of threw it together. Yeah, it doesn't look bad though. It caught my eye. Yeah. That's for sure. All right, we'll see you out there. All right. Good luck. That is awesome. Chopped Bel Air with a flip front end. That is cool looking. Modded to go. Of course, made my way back to see these cars again. didn't actually even notice this sitting here when I first walked through. It's kind of hard to miss. Thing is huge. If I was going track to track, this would be the chase truck. Oh, this must be your machine. <laughs> I was just saying, I didn't even see it the first time through and I don't know how I would have missed it. <laughs> right on. Do you actually uh, sleep up in the back too? Yeah, yeah that's my weekend getaway. <laughs> Perfect. S2000, we've seen this guy coming in the gates. He's got Maggie's motor. Sean, it's right. like a spaceship. Yeah. Oh, there's Sorry, Those are actual through louver, not just appearance. It's one heck of a car. Just a little turbo on it though. JDM front clip. JDM front clip. Yep. LS swap. Oh, literally ran. Try to make sure I got here to get this shot. He did say it was his first time down the track with it. So here is the smart car with the Yamaha FZ1 motor in her. Yeah, that actually is a pretty big good fit, eh? Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. You could go bigger. You <laughs> could. So if you happen to have an extra ZX14 engine sitting around, send it to this guy. <laughs> Can you imagine that back here? That'd be awesome. Still though, that's pretty awesome. I like seeing this. Smart car just got a little smarter. Yep. Oh, and then notice on the dash for his ignition. Just got the fighter pilot set up. Very cool, man. Very awesome build. Sorry to hear it broke. Do you want to tell the audience what you did? Uh, so when I went to go launch it down the track, uh, it started to make a 
really loud grinding noise. Uh, I knew right away it had to be something with the chain. Um, later on, we got back to the pits and we started looking around. And the intermediate shaft that transfers the power off the first chain down to the dip, uh, it's actually a little bit twisted and it's bent. So it's obviously, it's wobbling back and forth every rotation. Oh, can't you'll have to watch the footage because I did see wheel, like it looked like you had some wheel hop going. That probably after it twisted gotcha, then, probably, eh? Probably, yeah. Yeah, uh, but you know, kudos to you for bringing it out and giving her a go, anyways, man. That's awesome. <laughs> Not your average smart car. So, a quick sec to show you guys. Pretty good turnout today. As if all the cars in the pits wasn't an indication. Lots of people here today. How's it going today? That's what I thought I seen in here. It's got the inline six. How big's that inline? Two, two thirty. I just seen a heck of an inline six on 1320. Oh, yeah. What they're running down in uh, Brazil, the 4.1 liter. Oh yeah, yeah. So if you had this down the track yet, or just no. for the hell of it? Just for the hell of it. Right on. Yeah, you just don't see these anymore. Yeah, nobody wants them. But they're and they're an inline six, so they can be a torque machine, you know? Like, you look what the Japanese are doing with the inline sixes, right? Yeah. That's crazy. mile for that car 1961 not the year the time okay we've been waiting to see this 240 run so we're gonna go get over here and get ready for it but he did do a lot of spinning off the line. Get a quick shot of the No Club Trophy tent. You guys got quite a bit of trophies to hand out today, eh? Yeah. So I'm gonna want those as well. Yeah, I'm good. Right on. All right, all right, all right. Right now we're actually looking for another car, but I seen this and I made a beeline straight over here. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the channel's first R33. Got it all Nismoed out. Right hand drive GTR 33 Skyline achievement awarded. I would actually really like to see under the hood of this, but I don't think the driver is anywhere around. Until later. Yeah, I know. I came here late. Well, there she is. A little bit of spinning off the line, but still a good run. Yeah, oh, this spun for like 300 feet. Uh, they haven't been putting down far. prep since probably about 130. Yeah. Yeah. So she's going to start getting slick out there. Any chance we get you to lift the hood on her? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> this is like something I would have done right here. Yeah. We love zip ties. <laughs> Yeah, 
Oh geez, you guys have put some work in here. You have no idea how badly I've wanted to do this to a 240. Yeah. I remember back in uh, early 2000s, there was like one video on YouTube of an LS swap 240. He had no fenders on the front, no front clip, and just honked it down the street. That's, that looks like so much fun. So tell us, how fun is it? It's more like uh, it's quite fun actually. I've I haven't had a real drive vehicle in so long. I had an S I have an STM right for a daily driver. So I drove the all-wheel drive for probably 10 years. Oh geez. Finally got this and just getting used to the rear-wheel drive. Now. How's the balance you figure? Have you uh, had her out for a little fun yet? Um, the only fun I've had is yeah, it's a uh, it's a project. Doing lots of maintenance, getting to learn. Because it was built before, prior to my ownership. And it's, get to learn as I tear it apart and maintain it. Yeah, well it's quite the car, that's for sure. I appreciate that, thank you. And it's completely gutted inside too. That's the way to do her though. Kind of a ratchet passenger seat, but it's all I had kicking around spare for for the meantime. <laughs> it works though, right? Yeah. I guess it's, still a, a, it's still an original Sparco, but it's from 2001. It's seen places. Gets those heavy uh, Nissan seats out and all that equipment underneath the seats the rails and whatnot. That uh, older generation Evo in the far lane. JDM. Oh. Fourteen three. Not bad. DSM on the line. Hey, wait a second. I think that's the uh, guys who were here last week. Is he pulling on him? Is he gonna get him? Close. I know he did. lane here and a clean clean cord in the far lane.
gets me every time. 12 second Ford FX4 F-150. Go Dan. Yeah, very consistent. Yeah, that's close to work, right? Nowadays, yeah. Oh. It's a red light. for this guys brand new mark 5 2020 supra oh probably get no burnout from them though well i can't say i blame them it is a brand new car right doesn't want to get it all covered in rubber but i have not seen a lot of footage out there folks of the mark 5 running the quarter doing something over here at the tent so I thought it was going to see. chug two water bottles we're gonna make it crazy boys I actually want to see this okay so the first first two okay we got one who wants to come up against it come on there we go all right we'll do three we'll do three I, I can't I would love to but I can't do three All right, we're gonna get all three of you again right in the center. Yeah, you guys slam two of them. Okay, over into the center here. Okay. So. So again. <laughs> the first two, or the first person, sorry, to slam both water bottles that gotta be dry, is gonna walk away with the hat and the T-shirt. <laughs> all right, so on the count of three, all right? One, two, three. All right, I'm seeing some dedication. Oh! <laughs> oh, no. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, that was close. Hold on. I see water. I see water. We got a winner here. Can I get him a, a round of applause here? Come on, guys. Just came back here to see what cars are left. And then there's this. Where the hell has this been all day? FDRX7. Not JDM, but still very, very 
worthy of showing. Wank L rotary motor in it. I think there's different size of tires it's got on the back of that thing. Well guys, I think we're probably just about done here today. I have probably walked from the front to the back at least, I don't know, 12 times today, a dozen times. And always seen something new each and every time. A lot of vehicles are starting to pull out of here now. The staging lines are still right full though, so it's kind of hard to say. It's still pretty busy. But as for us, I think we've got enough footage here to make two or three videos. So we're gonna work on heading on out of here. It'll probably take me at least two hours to leave. So if you watch through the whole video, thank you very much. You guys seen some awesome cars here. It's a great racing. That's a What's that? No way. 129641. Congratulations. Pretty good for a four and a half thousand pound car. Yeah, well that's gonna say it's a pretty clean SHO man. Thanks, buddy. Alright, good luck, have fun. See, that just broke 13s into the high 12. That's why it's worth coming out here and just having some fun. You'll never know what you'll end up doing to your car. And I, I don't mean breaking ways. I mean, you might come out and you might run a 14 and feel that potential your car has. And the next weekend you can come out a little bit of modifications done. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. There is a possibility that you could also break. But I mean, the fun you'll have doing it, you'd never regret it. Been there, done that. Okay, hold that thought. I thought we were almost ready to depart to go. We're going to linger around just a little bit longer because there's one car I want to get another pass from. <coughs> Going again, eh? Yep. Going to give her again? Yeah. Alright, I was just getting ready to leave, but I'm going to stick around and get you next pass. Yeah. Got to stick around until I call. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it'll cool down as soon as it hits like 7, 8 o'clock. And they, they'll probably end up going till 10 anyway, so. Yeah. Alright, we'll see you up there, man. As you can see, it's still very, very, very busy here. You gonna run a 10? Oh, yeah. <laughs> up the middle of the stage and lanes. Everybody waiting to make their passes. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like I got back up here at the right time. I was hoping to catch you back there so I could check it out. That's a beauty. It's just one you never see here. Modified, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get over there and wait for your run. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> there you go, guys. Channels first. R33 Skyline. capable of so much faster. It's getting sideways. <laughs> I'll have to make sure I get this back. Plane's got to pay up apparently.
his whole 60 foot he was spinning. How bad, 14.3. I think we now have enough footage probably to make a couple of videos. I'm not sure how I'll cram it all down into one video, but it's been a heck of a day. Excellent time. Thank you, No Club, for bringing your event to St. Thomas Raceway Park. Thank you, St. Thomas Raceway Park, for hosting the venue of the event. It's been an awesome day. Seen a lot of people out here. Got to talk to a lot of great folks. It's a heck of an environment to be. It really is. I, I love coming out here and spending the time. Anyhow. Thanks again guys, don't forget to share the videos, comment, click like, subscribe, all that stuff, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. We're out.